It's my last post. I'm looking at these um, for my last post of the year. Boomerangs. They look like boomerangs. Um, some kind of boomerangs. They're actually um, mini tripods that I acquired to work with my DSLRs uh, when I'm shooting multicam and I need to place them in a small studio and um, what I was doing was kind of like cotching them and propping them, propping the DSLRs on things kind of to get the angle but I came across these. I went to this shop up end, up West End. Don't normally go up West End when I'm after gear, but I was up West End. Actually, I was doing some street photography up there, if I remember. And I saw these. These are little mini tripods by a company called Migo. Migo. Can you see that written on there? And they are flexible, flexible legs with a little tripod screw in the middle there, see it there? And you can bend them into any shape and put them literally anywhere. Head tripod, Ooh, can you imagine that? You can actually attach them to things. They will actually, the legs will actually wrap around. Look, you can bend them around. So you've got a pole or anything like that. You can bend this around like that. Attach your camera and have them shooting from all kinds of weird angles. It is actually brilliant. This is the big one, there's two versions. The big one, which can hold a heavier camera, such as a 5D with a 24 to 70 on it, which is, what is this way, 900, 900, no, hold on. The body's 900 grams. And the lens is about, this one is about 700 grams. So it's quite, quite a weighty machine. Let's put it on. The small one can't handle heavy lenses like this. And I would use it more with something like a 24 mil, which is about 240 Gs. Or we've got a nifty 50 here, plastic fantastic, which actually weighs nothing. And then if I let this go, it'd probably float off into the air somewhere. So anyway, this Migo, Migo, let me go and put it on. So you could see it attaches here. Spin this on. Yeah. It's got a handy little ring. Hope you can see this. And you can you see that? Just tighten it on there. And what you're supposed to do, you have one leg. If you place one leg where the lens goes, and if you notice, this one's got a hole in it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's for. I think you can hang it on the wall or something. So that can take the weight, the main weight, and then you just kind of like fashion these how you need it. There you go, look at that. And you can have it at any angle like that. You can even hold it like this. You know? In video in, it's excellent. Actually, it doesn't make that sound. But yeah, these things are brilliant. It was so wonderful. I actually went and got two more. As I said, I got two small ones. They look like you want to throw them down. And it'll probably come back in the back of the head. No, they're excellent. Excellent little things. Um, I've actually used it also on um, when I was recording with my Zoom box, little audio thing. You can use this and kind of put it anywhere, like on this little tripod here, which I'm filming with. But these things are really good, really cool. You can use it, so let me put that down there, with the video cam, the Sony, little Sony I've been using, because my 70D is dead, which I'm still upset about. This little one, the baby one, can go in the bottom there like this. 
and you've got a perfect little stand that you can angle however you like it. You could hang it on the wall, which is what the man in the shop assured me. I'm not sure how you film with it on the wall. Maybe you do it that way, I don't know. Don't know, something like that. And you can bend it. There's the head cam, there you go, see? Just need a hat with a hole in it, and then you can just pull a balaclava over your head. <laughs> Circle cam. I know they've already got them already, but hey, I've got a camera, so why? Why pay for something else that I've already got? Anyway, I just wanted to show you these for my last post of 2017. And 2017 has really gone past so fast. And really, this year, I mean, this whole blog, Life and Times of a Multiple Media Manager, was really a commemoration of 10 years of me doing photography and videography and journalism and audiography and design and all the things that I do. But really, the photography and videography aspect of it has kind of like took on a whole different dimension, you know, in the 10 years since I've, do it, I've been doing it. So I just really wanted to use this vehicle as an opportunity to share some of those things and some of those events and some of my growth and development. And also just to document so that in years to come, I can look back when I'm old and gray and in my walking, with my walking stick, I say, look, back in the day, this is what I used to do, you know. You know, can't imagine what kind of cameras they'll have then, probably mind cameras, you just think, oh, and the picture will just appear, you know, like in Star Wars, in front of you or whatever it is. So I can show the grandchildren, you know, back in 2000, 2017. So you can, I remember when it was 2000, it was just the other day, you know, time is, Time is really moving. So anyway, just to say this is the last post of 2017. It's been very interesting, 2017. This is the last, probably could be the last post of the whole series, in fact, because it was only really supposed to be a commemoration, you know, on, on 2017 being the 10th year that I've been doing this. You know, God knows what's gonna happen in 2018. You know, whether we'll continue the same way we've been going or, you know, you, you get highs and you get lows and you ride the lows and the highs come and then you forget about the lows and then it's all good. You know, there's been a few, quite a few highs this year and um, I don't know, stay positive, I guess, is the message. What more is there to say? What more is there to be said? Um, may you be blessed in 2018. May I be blessed in 2018. Nobody's promised tomorrow. So, what do we say? Engage everything with the freshness as if it's the first time you've ever did it, but also with the intensity as if it's the last time you're going to do it. So that's my message for the last post. It's been good. Pam 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 pam